Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rick, the Middle Class Millennial, bringing you guys another video. This is probably gonna be the most, unfortunately, the most depressing video I've probably ever uploaded on this channel. Um, I'm here to share with you guys a DIY disaster that me and my family went through a few weeks ago. And the reason I'm sharing this video is to share with you guys, and also a warning, warning to DIYers, how sometimes one simple mistake can cost you thousands of dollars and a lot of headache and pain and suffering if, you, if you're not knowing what you're doing and you don't do something right or you're just being stupid like what I did here a little bit ago. So uh, I am gonna leave chapters down below. You guys can feel free to skip through what uh, each section that you're interested in, even though I recommend you guys watching the video in its entirety because I'm gonna give you some context as to what's going on. So real quick, so about uh, three months ago, I had sewage back up in my floor drain in my basement. Not a whole lot, we caught it early, but we had sewer back up in our floor drain, and then there's also an area where we used to have a toilet down here. It backed up through. So I called the plumber guys to come out and snake it out. They did. Now keep in mind, we lived at this house for five years, and I had them snake out my sewer system not even six months prior for the first time since we've lived here. So I told the plumbers, I was like, okay, uh, get a camera down there. Let's figure out what's going on. I'll pay you guys to get a camera down there and let's figure out what's going on. And they run a camera out towards the alleyway. Right when it transitions from cast iron to clay pipe, when they get past there, they notice that there's some tree roots growing in through the clay pipe in my sewer system. And the snake didn't get it all out. There's quite a bit at the top, as you see in this picture here. Um, so I, they took a wireless probe and they went outside and they pinpointed where the camera was at. So where the tree roots were growing in at. And they said it was about seven feet down or so, six to seven feet down. And I told them, all right, um, I wanna get that section of pipe replaced. I wanna have an outdoor clean out put in since I didn't have one and a uh, backflow preventer valve put in as well. So if sewer down the street ever plugs up, it doesn't flood my basement since I'm gonna be finishing my basement here at some point. And uh, to save some money, I told them, I said, I'll dig it out myself. Um, you guys just gotta come out here and replace the pipe, put that stuff in and I will bury it and we'll call it good. And he was like, great. And I said, just give me a month to do it. And that was going to be $1,876.95, which wasn't going to be too bad. So we agreed on it. So I went ahead and I dug this like massive hole. Uh, <laughs> deepest hole I've ever dug by hand. I used a hoist system. The hole was about a foot over my head, as you can see here. And uh, I don't recommend doing this, by the way. It's very dangerous. I didn't realize that at the time. But anyway, so I dug this hole. Crew comes out and they put this big like aluminum box in there like they weren't going to go in there without this box and I forget what it's called but it's basically to protect them from a cave-in so they can replace the pipe and they go in there they replace the pipe you know easy peasy they get it done and um, I pay them the bill and they leave and so after they leave I plan on taking a week off from working on it I was going to start putting in pea gravel to bed it and then bury it but I decided to take a week off to rest because I just got done digging a hole well towards the end of my work week when I got off on my uh, on Saturday morning because I work nights I mowed the lawn, and after I mowed the lawn, I was planning on working on it the next day. I decided, you know what, there's a dead spot of uh, grass over here. I want to get some water on it. And I was only planning on running it for an hour. By the way, this was really stupid of what I did. So I, I, I was planning on running it for an hour, and I forgot about it. And not only did I forget about it, I forgot about it for quite a while, unfortunately. And I didn't discover it till later that evening. And not long after I started watering, this happened. So I went out that night, I shut the water off, obviously, freaking out, realizing that not only did the dirt cave in, it broke the clay pipe that it was attached to on the front of the connection and the rear as well. And we basically had no sewage. Well, this was on a Saturday morning. Uh, the plumbing crew was not in. They weren't going to be in until Monday. So I had no sewage over the weekend. I called them on Monday and I told them, hey, this is an emergency. I've had the pipe break. I need you guys to come out ASAP as soon as you can. I don't care what money I got to throw at the problem. Get the excavator out here. Do what you got to do. Just get this thing excavated out. Get a new pipe put in there and at least get it buried somewhat with some gravel. And unfortunately, they couldn't get out until Thursday. So from Saturday morning to Thursday, I had no sewer whatsoever. None. So we had to use, anyway, we had to get creative. I'll leave it at that. And it, that was painful in and of itself, not having sewage for like five days. It's like, those are some things you just take for granted. So I had to deal with that. So they, they come out and they bring the excavator out and they, they clear out the hole. 
And this time they're able to connect the ABS directly to the cast iron, so it goes cast iron, ABS, and then clay. So that, that is a little bit better of a connection, and they bedded it with gravel. So after they embedded the pipe with about a foot or so of gravel, they put what dirt they excavated out into the hole and covered that. I was then tasked with taking the remainder of the dirt, which I piled up on the other side of the backyard, and to bury that myself, which I just got done today. Um, and that involved putting in each layer and then tamping the crap out of it, just not over the pipe directly, and then setting the box, tamping it, and leaving a bunch of excess over for dirt settling this winter. Um, and I did that as another effort to save money because it was gonna cost me a fortune for the excavator to roll its tracks all the way to the side of my yard, grab a scoop and throw it in the hole as opposed to just using what they excavated out to bury it. So that was one method I used to kind of keep the bill down a little bit. But I unfortunately ended up forking out an additional 3925 bucks and 88 cents. So the bill went from $1,800 to what, 39? Yeah, 39, so five, like about $5,000. So it went from 1,800 to about $5,000. And yeah, it was pretty nuts. So again, I wanna state this to you guys real quick. I tried to save some money by doing it myself and it cost me more money in the long run. Now. Sure, could it have been avoided that I didn't run the sprinkler? Probably, I'm not gonna deny that. But I was also taking a risk too, by being in a hole that deep. I was even told by those plumbers out there, they kind of looked at me when they first replaced it, they're like, I don't know why you dug a hole this deep. This isn't safe to go down into. Uh, not a good idea. And you know, I didn't think much about it, but it could have been a lot worse. I could have had that thing cave in on me when I was excavating it out. Uh, the other concern that could have made it worse as well is when the pipe broke, we had to run the risk of potentially damaging the window well, like the gravel that I had in the window well, and knocking that all out to get to whatever pipe wasn't broken to repair that broken pipe after it's severed. Um, fortunately, they were able to connect it. But the, the reason I want to say this to you guys is me doing it myself here actually costed me a lot more money in the long run. If I had just hired it out, I would have paid a little bit less than five grand and it would have just been a lot. Actually, it would have been about the same price to be honest because I think they quoted me like 5,000 to do the whole thing. But it would, the headache would have been gone. I would have been struggling through this. And we wouldn't have had no sewage for like a week. If you guys are tackling a project, be very careful when you're doing it. And be prepared if things don't go as planned. Um, we were very lucky that we had the cash to fork out for this. But I know a lot of people don't. And this, this could be disastrous for a lot of homeowners out there. You know, when I, when I started this channel, I, I want to make this clear. I'm not a pro. I'm just an average dude like everybody else watching this channel. And... I got this house as a complete novice. I mean, I knew how to, you know, I knew how to use a hammer, things of that nature. I've turned some wrenches, but as far as home ownership and, and fixing things in the home, I had no idea how to do. I had to kind of learn from scratch. And I wanted to make this channel showing to you guys what it's like from a novice perspective, somebody that hasn't done these things before and is tackling it. You know, we often see pros on YouTube. They show you how to do it professionally, and that's great but they often make it seem easier than it really is because they have experience behind them. They're used to it. And we often don't hear about the disasters that occur. And I will say for a lot of people I know, this would financially devastate them. Uh, another thing as well is, like I said, I didn't have sewer for a week. This, you know, didn't anticipate that. I've had disasters before, but usually most of them, you know, like let's say you're doing something in the garage, you pull back the veneer and there's a bunch of mold and you got to replace all the studs. You can still go in your house and live normal for a while and wait on it and take your time doing it. But when you have no sewage, it's an emergency. And you don't really care what the price tag is. You need that sewer system running right away. And, and just as life, they may not be able to get to it right away. So uh, lesson take away from here. If you guys are doing projects yourself, please educate yourself before doing it. Proceed with caution. And most importantly, be prepared if you screw up. And I mean financially as well. I don't... and it could be disastrous for you. You could make the situation a lot worse than what it is. And if you don't feel comfortable, please, please, please let the pros do it. I know it sucks and it can bite you in the wallet, but I'd rather get bit in the wallet up front and have the pros do it than do this kind of screw up again. Cause this, this was atrocious what happened to us. And I don't want this to happen to any of you guys out there. So, um, anyway, I'll, I'll show you guys the destruction afterwards after the cleanup. All right, let me give you guys a quick overview of some of the uh, unfortunate damage caused by this mishap that we had. Uh, nothing against the crew. Um, first off, let's go over here where I had the tarp out. So I originally dug the hole out. I will burrow it out over here because originally I was going to bury it and everything else. But unfortunately, like I said, the disaster earlier. By the way, do not use clear plastic. 
it cooks the ground like a greenhouse. I had normal tarps over there, but when I got out to here, I had to use normal uh, clear plastic because that's what I was provided with. So right up here, so you can see the window well. Here's where the old hole was at. I buried it a little high because I expect settling over winter. That cast iron was literally right about there on the window well from going underneath. And the risk was that when they went to replace this, that this could have caved out underneath. So I'm very lucky that didn't happen. Um, and then here we have our irrigation box, which technically is our clean out access box, but this is a green irrigation box. This is irrigation control valve, that's not the case. Let me show you guys something in here. Okay, so what I did was I labeled our clean out backflow preventer valve access. I also put some instructions in there with the schematic explaining briefly what was replaced at what date, which I put the original date, July 12th, 2024. And then I explained that yes, it was replaced six inches from here. And then it goes about one foot out from the right of the clean out. Then it goes to clay pipe all the way out to the alleyway. So just a quick tool tip for you guys. Try to label your stuff because I'm thinking about that homeowner, you know, 30 to 50 years from now, if they have problems with this, you know, they want to know what was replaced, what wasn't without having to stick a camera in here. They want to have an idea. I also put bricks at the bottom to give it some foundation so it's less likely to sink over the winter it might still but hopefully not so and then i also put some rocks in so you drop tools in there they don't get covered in mud so three takeaways one before you do it yourself do research figure out that that's something that you can handle and you can tackle two be prepared to lose or fork out cash if things go awry and you got to hire it out and then three most importantly don't run a sprinkler next to a hole like i did especially if you forget about it um, I learned that the hard way, unfortunately. Uh, also, if you guys have any DIY disasters, uh, let me know in the comments below. I I'd like to hear your stories. We've all heard those stories about somebody that wants to get an open concept house and they cut into a load bearing wall and then they're in big trouble. So uh, also real quick on the channel, I was mentioning basement finishing earlier this spring that has now been pushed to next spring because unfortunately the budget kind of got eaten by this disaster, which Another thing is to mention, if you're a homeowner, you should have money like this for disasters of this sort, because it could happen to you or something similar. You could have your roof, roof get torn off in a windstorm. I don't know. I'm just giving you some examples. But uh, anyway, um, I will see you guys on the next one. And most importantly, just, just be careful. That's all I got to say, because um, you may not be so lucky.